Welcome to your Cohesion Classroom. In this lesson, we will take a look at how to use compatible numbers to estimate. At the end of this video, you'll have access to our tips and takeaways, allowing you to focus on the content. You can always access any of our tips and takeaways from the lesson page before or after watching the lesson. When students are using compatible numbers to estimate the answer to an addition or subtraction problem, they're finding numbers which are close to the actual numbers in order to find an approximate answer quickly. When using compatible numbers, it's important to note that there may be multiple accurate responses. The number should be close to the actual number and be a number that helps the student to add more quickly. Typically, this will be a number that ends in either 5 or 0. For example, possible compatible numbers for 327 could be 325, 320, 330, or 300. Students should have a strong understanding of place value in order to use the strategy of rounding when estimating addition and subtraction. Students may use two options when estimating to find a sum or difference. The first is identifying compatible numbers, numbers that are easy to compute mentally and are close to the real numbers. For example, when looking to find the sum of 327 and 582, 327 could be estimated to be 325, and 582 could be estimated to be 575. So when adding together 325 and 575, you would get 900. These numbers are especially compatible because students may recognize that 25 plus 75 makes another 100. The second way to convert to compatible numbers is by using place value to round. As seen in the video, use place value to round to the nearest 10 or 100. For example, students round 327 to the nearest 100, which would be 300, and round 582 to the nearest 100, 600, and when added together, the sum or answer is 900. Students may round numbers incorrectly. For example, rounding to the nearest 10 instead of the nearest 100 due to misconceptions with identifying the correct place value. For example, when asked to round 268 to the nearest 10, a student might incorrectly round to 300 instead of the correct answer of 270. Sometimes students will convert to compatible numbers randomly instead of thinking about why they're doing what they're doing. For example, 125 could be rounded to 130 or 100, where 100 is an easier number to work with than 130, rounding to 130 will give you a more accurate estimate. Have conversations with your students about appropriate times to round more precisely. Remember, there are multiple accurate answers when using compatible numbers to estimate the sum or difference. Students should be able to explain why they're using their specifically chosen number, making the estimating the sum or difference easier for them. For example, I know numbers that end in zero allow me to count by tens, which is faster than counting on from some given numbers. If needed, go back and watch our video, Use Place Value to Round to the Nearest 10 or 100 to help solidify understanding. Uniting students and families in learning, we are Cohesion Education. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.